Liberace, and today uh, we're going to look at the anatomy of the arm. And we'll be detailing all of the uh, muscles and some of the bones uh, that the muscles attach to, from the shoulder all the way down to the hand. And this is a you know good exercise for just about anybody to do to familiarize yourself with uh, some of the muscles and bones of the body, just to give your own drawing, sculpture, painting a little bit more authority. Uh, so when you put a shadow down, it has some meaning, some significance. Uh, uh, rather than just an area that's not receiving light, it actually has some direction and movement and thrust to it. Whether you're a painter or a sculptor or a draftsman, this information is certainly good to have to give us some more clarity and authority with the way that we approach our uh, discipline. And this is all shadow. That's what I tell students to do. <laughs> Figure out where they are, where it is and fill it in evenly and take out all the noise. I'll use this bristle brush just to even out, blend out that shadow, just like I would in a painting. Even all that out. And I applied enough pressure that I still have a ghost of the form there. That's the origin, and it contracts and brings the arm up. And both of these muscles contract together to forcefully bring the arm up. And uh, this is the pronator teres, or the rounded muscle that pronates the hand, and it goes from here to there, to the radius. And then the next uh, muscle is the long brachioradialis. And I can see the structure of the joint very clearly here, too. The other one is obscured by that cast shadow. And I can see it coming down the shaft of the phalanx. And it is longer, so see before I have it at the same angle, same spot, the end of the same spot. You have to make sure when you draw these fingers that they don't end at the same, the same axes. And even when they do, I tend to change it because it, do, it, it rarely looks real. But it, the body of the hand, which is the metacarpals, and there's the radius, and then there's the thumb, and then there's the index finger, and then blocking out the other fingers here, and there is the pinky, or the digiti minimi, right there, that uh, our model Wayne is so fond of now. He's, uh, he seems to be very happy that I've introduced him to this interesting new muscle. <laughs> okay, so here is the pad. And it's got all kinds of folds right here, because this side is compressing. The other side is extending. There's a good strong fold right here. Hopefully this uh, video and this information will be uh, helpful in some way to um, you kind of discovering how extraordinary anatomy is and the pursuit of anatomy and how much of an influence it can have on your works.